Hey there, I hope you're doing really great. My name is Sam as always and I'll be glad to take you through this video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use a controller that has only two channels to control four decks in your DJ controller and in this case, I'll be using Virtual DJ. Now, as you can see here, this is a Numac Mixtrack Pro 1 which is a very small controller and has only two decks controlled. This here is a master volume. And then in Virtual DJ, we have four decks right here. If you come to layout and then maybe you can use Pro or if you're using performance, you can be able to switch between four decks like one, two, three, and then four. Or you can choose to use Pro and still you can come down here to four decks and then the mixer. You can still have here one, two, three, and four. Or most people prefer to call it A, B, C, and D, and that's how it's labeled. So I'm going to show you basically how to shift your controls, how to control the volume faders, as you can see over here. I'm using this to control the volume of deck one, and then this is for deck two. And if I switch here, I can control deck three over here, and then four over here if I switch as well. All right, so I'm going to give you some mappings that are, I'm not actually the one that did this, but there's a guy called K2M7 inside the Virtual DJ Forum. Thank you so much for this discovery. He discovered this script which can allow us to do this. And I'm just going to continue ex explaining uh, or show you briefly what it does. So right away, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you've not yet been watching all along i want to say thank you so much for being a member always please do that and let's get started now i'm going to show you the script right away i'm going to go to the settings and i have mixed track pro connected already i'm going to to edit mappings but before i go there i want you to know that you can sacrifice if you have a, a controller that has pads you can sacrifice pads or if you don't have like me I'm, i can use my keyboard like to map the, one of these keys or two of them to to basically help me switch the control between the two i want to do everything on my controller though i didn't have the parts so i will be sacrificing my starter key over here this button i hope you see my finger and uh, since there are two variations of these controls i'm also going to sacrifice another button over here which is the pfl button so let's do it now we're going to come to edit mappings and over here I'm going to start and show you the first one. Uh, the first one is already set to the starter button over here which is this. I'm not going to explain basically exactly what the syntax here stands for but what it does is that once you press this starter button here after saving this mapping you should be able to switch the controls between dex A and C if you press the left one and if you press the right one it should be able to switch the controls between D and B. Um, I have another one over here which is in the PFL. I hope you see my finger. Uh, this is a PFL version over here and uh, still I'm not going to explain it what it means. Now there is only the difference in the way the syntax is but the controls are the same. We have two of them because most controllers will not support both of them. So you need to map the two of them differently and then see which one really works for you and of course you are going to tell me which one works for you in the comment section down below but this is basically what i intended to do now there's no need to map for all these four buttons because the way the controller is made if you map this starter over here already it shifts also the control to the other one and this is for this channel it already is the other side of course i'm going to save this and then we'll try and see now, once again, as we can see, we have here deck one. We have here three right now is up. Let me just take it back down. And we have C and D. So what, how it works is that if I press the starter button, for example, over here, I want you to watch this space where there is that A. If I press it, the A comes down. That means I now have control over C, which is deck three. Uh, the same. The same thing happens when I press it once again, the A goes back up so I can control deck A. It also happens the same way if I con if I press uh, the PFL button on the other side, it brings deck B up and I can be able to control everything about it using these, these buttons and knobs that you're seeing over here, anything on the controller. 
the platter, I mean the jog wheel, everything is supposed to be working on that deck. And once again, if you press it, it does the same thing. And if you're using the starter version, then you should be able to express, I mean, to experience how it works by pressing over here. Once again, not all of them might work for you, but you can map all of both of them on your pads or keyboard and then try them out. You are going to let me know which one works for you over here. But that is basically how you can do that. That is if you are using the pro layout of Virtual DJ. You can also try it with a performance mode. When you come over here, you still see these four decks. This is for guys who have taken time with Virtual DJ, but... This is for guys who have taken time with Virtual DJ, but... This is for guys who have taken time with Virtual DJ, but basically it does the same thing. Nothing so complicated. Uh, what is surprising is that over here, the startup version is not working. Uh, let me try the PFL version is working over here. But I can come over here and then change the deck layout to maybe full. Let's see that. Uh, yeah, so the starter one now starts working over here. So it's going to be a matter of trying and seeing what really works for you and what does not. But this is how you can control four decks. Now, what's the use of doing this four decks on a small controller? Sometimes you might need to do a lot. You might need to put your stems on this side. Let's say you want to put the instruments on deck, the upper deck here, and then you want to put the vocals, scratch on the vocals down here, or apply effects and all that. If you don't have stems working, you can do that. You can also load your samples on deck one and three, scratch over here, switch your settings right away, and very quickly, still you get the live session going. So that is basically what I really wanted to show you in this video. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's been a quick one. If you really like it, please leave me a like on this video, leave a thumbs up. And if, if there's anything that you think I've left behind or you want to add in something or you want to request for something, do it in the comment section down below. This video is worth sharing with a lot of guys. If you have a friend you think should know, please do take a moment and then share it with him. Also, if you're still not yet a subscriber, I have new content coming your way. Please subscribe and turn on that small bell.